King Ranch Chicken Casserole. This is a delicious Tex-Mex casserole that you could probably find at potlucks or parties where I'm from. So typically in this casserole, the recipe usually calls for one can of cream of chicken, a can of cream of mushroom, and some Rotel chilies. What I like to do for this recipe is create my own cream sauce. For that, I'm going to start with one poblano pepper, one pint of button mushrooms, one onion, and three Roma tomatoes. After chopping all of my vegetables, I'm going to saute the mushrooms until they get nice and brown and then continue sauteing the rest of my poblano pepper and onion. Once my mushrooms are nice and brown, I'm going to add my onions and poblano peppers. While all of that is sauteing, I wanted to show you what I'm going to do with the tomatoes. I'm going to cut them in half, remove the seeds, and give them a dice. And then I'm going to set them aside to add to the complete cream sauce later. You do not want to saute your tomatoes because then they will break down and turn to mush. At this point, I'm now going to add seasonings and start to create my roux for the cream sauce. I'm now going to add four tablespoons of unsalted butter. Now I'm going to add one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, a half teaspoon of cracked black pepper. I'm also going to be adding one and a half tablespoons of granulated chicken bouillon. I'm going to give that all a mix. Now I am going to add four tablespoons of all-purpose flour. I'm going to cook the flour out for a minute or so, and then I'm going to be adding whole milk to create a delicious cream sauce. Now that all of my flour has cooked out, I'm going to gradually add three and a half cups of whole milk. Now I did not film this, but once my cream sauce is done, I will add one cup or eight ounces of sour cream. 
I like the flavor and the creaminess that it adds to the cream sauce, but you can leave it out if you don't like it. It tastes just fine. So my cream sauce is done, so now I'm going to add some shredded chicken. You can shred a whole rotisserie chicken, but I actually boiled some chicken pieces, so this is around two to two and a half pounds of shredded chicken. And at this point, I am going to add my diced tomato. I'm going to give all of this a good mix. You can also taste it for salt at this point. It tastes fine to me. And then we are ready to build this casserole. Okay, so I'm setting up my workstation. I have my cream sauce. I'm also going to be using between three to four cups of shredded cheddar cheese. The amount is up to you. I think I used around three and a half. I also have a 9 by 13 baking dish and what I'm going to do is just spread some of the cream chicken sauce at the bottom. Then I'm going to start building this casserole by layering it with corn tortillas and I will be using 18 throughout this whole process. Once your casserole is done, you want to allow it to set for 15 minutes and then serve. So I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it. And thanks for watching. Hey guys, click the video icons for more recipes. Or you can click my picture icon to subscribe. Thanks for watching.